Tick, tick. Stupid. Twenty twenty one was the year of musicals. We had Dear Evan Hansen. We had West Side Story. We had Encanto. I haven't seen it. And we had In the Heights, which was pretty good. And tick, tick, boom. Kind of like, it, 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 there wasn't a lot of press behind it. At least I didn't see any. This is by far the best musical of 2021. And I'm going to argue that it's one of the best movies of the year and deserves lots of Oscars. So Tick, Tick, Boom was originally a rock monologue by Jonathan Larson, who wrote eventually wrote Rent and unfortunately died as soon as Rent exploded, which is very sad. And it's just strangely beautiful and ironic that he wrote Tick, Tick, Boom about him not being successful and how like he has this like creative energy and he doesn't know what to do with it. So he just wrote this musical about his own life. And Lin-Manuel Miranda, who wrote Hamilton and starred in Hamilton and also wrote In the Heights, he, this is his first movie that he's directing. And he just continues to show the entire world how ridiculously talented he is, because this is a wonderfully made movie. And I hope that he makes more movies. And the big talker is Andrew Garfield stars as Jonathan Larson. And no one knew that he could sing except for Lin-Manuel Miranda. Apparently him and Andrew Garfield have the same massage therapist and the massage therapist said, oh yeah, he can sing. Lo and behold, he's a great singer on top of being like one of the best actors alive right now. This will get him his Oscar. If it doesn't, I will delete this video. I don't know. I won't do anything. I'm calling it now. He's definitely going to get the nomination. He's going to win. Andrew Garfield is going to win best actor for Tick, Tick, Boom. Like Jonathan Larson knew exactly what he was doing. And there's a scene where he writes this musical, Stephen Sondheim, loves it and but it ends up going nowhere after the first rehearsal and he asks his agent what do i do next and she said just make another one and then you make another one and just throw everything on the wall and hopefully one of them sticks and you make a career that's what being a writer is and it made me cry <laughs> and it, i cried a lot in this movie it's ridiculously relatable like this there's so much truth in this movie obviously because Jonathan Larson wrote it about his own life and he eventually went on to write Rent and the best advice that he got from his agent was write what you know, which he did and he wrote Tick, Tick, Boom and then did it again with Rent. What's fascinating to me is this is written by the same person who wrote Dear Evan Hansen, both the musical and the movie and the movie does not work at all, but the movie of Tick, Tick, Boom works so well which makes me absolutely believe that it's because of the director. Lin-Manuel Miranda knows how to direct a musical because he, I mean, obviously it's his background. Everyone knows who he is, what he's done. And he treats this movie as a musical, which it is. They sing randomly. Like either the songs are him on stage singing or it's a fantasy. Whereas Dear Evan Hansen was a teen drama where they happen to sing but it was shot like it was a very dramatic scene, shot reverse shot type thing while they're singing each other's face. It's very strange. And Lin-Manuel Miranda doesn't do that. He treats it like a musical, which it is, and it works so well, and it'll make you cry. I love this movie. You're gonna love this movie. I don't see a reason why someone wouldn't like this movie other than they're just one of those people who is like, I don't like musicals. You're no fun. Andrew Garfield's going to win his Oscar. It's probably going to get a screenplay nomination. I'm also calling it right now, this will get an editing nomination and maybe win just from this, there's a pool sequence where he's swimming and he's like, he, the way his brain works is he's got to work out while he's thinking of writing songs. And it's genius. If you're a theater nerd, you are going to love this, especially there's one scene in a diner where he's like just imagining during his day of work that he's directing a musical and every single actor in this diner is a Broadway actor. It's like the Avengers Endgame of musicals. This movie will make you cry. It'll make you laugh. It'll make you dance. It'll make you want to make things. This, this movie gave me an existential crisis. Did I say that right? I don't even know. What am I doing? It's
calling it now. Best actor, best editing. It's gonna. It's not gonna win best picture. I hope it does. It deserves all of the Oscars. Just give it to them. Because you're not gonna give it to Pig. <laughs>